welcome back you're still watching sunrise daily news analysis on biafra television and our lines are open right now for you to call in and make your contributions also let us know what you think with what is going on um in the contraption called nigeria now of course uh, before we go ahead i will have to read the headlines again uh, i'll have to read them out once again 140 IPOB activists remanded in prison and the question is um, why should they be remanded in prison they've not been tried but you know asking such questions seems um, you know repeating same thing over and over again because it is already obvious that um, when it comes to IPOB or when it comes to this contraption the laws does not really um, work they don't work so asking such question um, is irrelevant because for sure they make the law but they do not use the law and of course on some people um, you know the law is uh, made for different categories of people uh, but the major question we are asking here is how come um, on the spot report says 146 people were arrested on that very day 146 and of course after 24 hours we are seeing 140 what happened to the other six what where, where have they been taken have they been killed have their uh, kidneys their organs been harvested because that is what is going on in the contraption called nigeria every day we see people every day we hear news every day we, our people have been abducted most times when you find them you find the corpses of people whose organs had been harvested so what happened to these six people? We must keep asking the Nigerian police in the good division what happened to these six people. We also talk about federal government moves to shut down Enugu International Airport. We look at uh, the reasons why should uh, the airport be shut down. Uh, you know, in a bid to keep the airport running or uh, to satisfy the Nigerian government, the governor of Enugu State has, uh, you know, decided to shut down an ancient market. Um, you know that is um, close to the airport just to satisfy them yet they are not satisfied and of course according to Mazi Victor he, he, we had to you know relate it I think he will still speak more on that he, he related it to what happened in 1967 and the question is are we to expect what happened in 1967 because everything that is happening right now had happened history is repeating itself Okay, we talk about Buhari reportedly revokes a gun license. Don't forget, even before the 1967 such issue came up, everybody, the vigilante, the security hunters, submit your guns. And when it happened, uh, you know, they came and met Biafrans without any uh, means of defending themselves. How come history is repeating itself and our people are not alert? I think that is one of the reasons uh, history was taken away from Nigerian curriculum. That is why people do not know their history. Okay, um, the next one here. Federal government opens radio station to reach headsmen. Uh, you know, this time around they have uh, improved. They, they've improved, uh, you know, uh, the headsmen, in case you do not know, they have surrounded us. They are all over Biafra land. They are in your back. Uh, you know at the back of your house they are in your farms they are in that forest close to your community they built their camps and of course the next thing is federal government funding a radio to broadcast in Fulani uh, language and you know what it means the moment they say strike it means they are striking at the same time the instruction comes it's not as if those in Aba will hear it and say okay well let me put a call across to those in in uh, in Omaha now they get the instruction straight in case you don't understand what is going on all right we'll have another one southern and middle bed leaders reject for landing radio station funded by federal government the question is uh, you know does their opinion really matter <laughs> does it really mean anything the radio station has been floated already so um, is that all they can do? Do you think there is much, um, there is more they should do? Uh, do you think they can do anything to help the situation? And the last one here, gunmen in the Akwaibom community kill many. Yeah, it is not just only Akwaibom. They are everywhere. Uh, they, they've been codenamed. We know they are still the Fulani headsmen, but they've been codenamed uh, bandits and uh, gunmen. And of course, as the day keeps coming, you know, they keep changing the names bandit Fulani headsmen from Fulani headsmen to gunmen to bandits and of course tomorrow they'll give it another name 
that is what is obtainable uh, at this uh, present time so the question is how prepared are you for what is to come whether you are a Biafran, whether you are a, 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 a Yoruba or Dudua, whatever, uh, are you prepared for what is to come? But most especially those in Biafra land need to ask themselves this question. Those classes of I don't care. Like you say, um, the, the weather is cloudy. It is about to rain. And when the rain comes, it will definitely get to the roof of everyone everyone must feel it so can you please uh, before we start taking calls can you uh, throw more light on uh, you, you talked about uh, what happened now was what happened closure of airport was what happened during the uh, before the 1967 genocide hold on we'll have a long whatsapp hello hello good morning my sister uh, and uh, Good morning to you, uh, Marzi Victor Onido and uh, Marzi Evi from the U.S. Welcome to uh, good, good, good morning. Yeah, my name is Joseph Biafra. Another one, Joseph Biafra. Come on over and let us enter into the year of all these abutuas. My name is Joseph Biafra. Yes, I am calling. I am from Ifite, Orumba, South uh, Biafra. Movement. I'm on by state. I'm on by yeah. I'm living here in my own Bayern, Germany. Uh, I want to contribute on the on our airport which they closed and uh, the license revoked by the Jubril and Sudan. And uh, my first one is our. They close our airport. The only airport, the the house, the warehouse airport we have in Biafra land as airport. They close it because they think that is the only way our people, our men, the real men that are outside. That is the only means that they will come back home when when they are jihadists. When they are jihadists, the jihadist operation start. You know they have been planning hard. Taking illegal ammunition from Slovakia uh, for, and, 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 uh, and from the, they are, they are anywhere they are getting uh, ammunition and sponsoring the 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 the, the full and East jihad to come and perform their jihad in Biafra land and it bothers me that our people are, are still sleeping. For me, I am I'm awoken. I came into this uh, this 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 place this Europe to to live and I am the one who piloted the the, the balloon. To, to, to here. So if they think I'm gonna somebody like me will come through airline so that they will, they will catch me through airline, they are lying. I will take this so that the the, the, the balloon, I will follow it from here, from here to to to, 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 to Biafra land. I will land in Biafra land. That is me, I will do that when it happens. So and uh, another one is our our men. Please don't 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 return or give them your ammunition. Because that is what you use to defend yourself. Even if you don't have one, go and buy. Go and buy ammunition. Go and buy and, and buy a lot of bullets. A lot of bullets. And they are very, very, they are very, very lucky that I'm not in Biafra. If I'm in Biafra, I will be killed anywhere I see policemen. I will, anywhere I see them, 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 those terrorists, I will kill them. I will take away their gun. That is what I will do. So if you are a young guy, if you have a man in there, be prepared. Work up. Work up for what is coming. It's a tsunami. The way these people are coming, they are coming. They are coming like earthquake to unleash and kill. And I am as well calling our people in Igede Idoma. Our people there, over there, Igbo people there. Please wake up. Wake up to your sleep from your slumber. Wake up and protect yourself. And join IPOB. Join IPOB so that we trade this this tyrant out of Biafra land, out of our holy land. Yes, I am calling on our youth to wake up. We should not be here every time. And oh, they have killed us, they have killed us, and we should pray. Pray for what? They are they, 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 they with the God coming to you. Say you pray to God to come and say, we collect your gun from Fulani. Buy your own gun. Shoot them, kill them before they kill you. That is my own contribution. I am not happy every day I'm seeing the arresting my people and killing. I am here every year crying. No, no, no. That's part of the frustration this, this government, the government of Germany is frustrating us here, outside here. We are not happy, I'm not happy. Every day I cry, I cry, I cry, I die in pain here. Better of me to die here, it's better I die in Biafra like defending my people. 
You are fighting. Fight, fight for my people. I am ready to die anytime to fight for my people. You have killed us enough. Thank you very much, my sister. And the Lord bless you all. Thank you very much. Thank you for that wonderful contribution. Of course, they have killed us enough and it is time to rise up. It is time to say no to the mayhem you committed against your friends. Okay, keep calling off, um, you know, call us on Skype, call us on Facebook, call our phone line, call us on WhatsApp and make your contributions. Okay, so Masi, um, you know, what do you have to say? Okay, about? well, uh, um, everything that is happening, I mean, is a welcome development. And of course, uh, you know, uh, anything, I the only thing uh, for us to do is to liken our people, just like our brother is saying, if other people can see from his own vision that this gun evocation is what happened in uh, 1946, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, during the Soviet Union, I mean, the, in Ireland, and they revoked the uh, gun license of people and they confiscated every gun and destroyed everything and that is when the greatest massacre happened it happened in iraq iraq it happened in so many other places and now it's about happening here and um, for the fact that uh, uh, the the house of Fulani, do you know that uh, lately the nigerian army they received a consignment of uh, heavy guns and ammunition of uh, different categories okay, just hold on please we have a call on whatsapp hello constant bombardment from the enemies. I still believe uh, such feat can be replicated even much better with, you know, the exposure we have in today modern technology and all that stuff. You know, if you have eye, uh, you will see that there is airports all over the Australia that I can tell you. Um, not just giving away secret, but when you look at from head bridge even down to a P-Waker. It's an airport in itself. All you need is just knock down a few lampposts and, you know, and then you have a very wrong way, you know. So that is not an issue. We don't need to lose sleep over it. But nonetheless, um, just before that time comes, there is the need for us to have a functional airport. We cannot just sit quiet and, and lament and cry over this without doing anything. We must fight to turn now. We need a new airport up and running. You know, we cannot get them to get away, get away with this. The more we lament and keep quiet and do nothing seriously about revising these policies, the more emboldened they get, and that is exactly what is happening. You know, we could do this with the strength of IPOB. We could show them the Afrika land again, just like we'd be doing on the party and send a clear message to the world and to entire Nigeria that look under our watch this airport will stay functional until Nigeria is normal you know so we could do this so I'm asking the leadership to look seriously it's not enough to put up Twitter messages and everybody coming and lamenting and crying over this we could do more than cry and lament we will have to sit down and say no this cannot happen send that clear message if we demonstrate like we did when director was in prison in Kuge, shutting down the head bridge and constant demonstration, I tell you, they will reverse this policy. I even update that airport to a very functional standard. So this is doable. Okay, my people, this is just my short contribution this, uh, today. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you and God bless you. Bless you too. Okay. Uh, he said something about, um, you know, protesting just like we did when our leader was in prison, you know, blocking the, 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 the head bridge, uh, the bridge head. Of course, uh, mounting protests. The Mazi Elvis, you will have to um, say something about this. After taking this call, we'll have a call on the phone. After taking the call, you will you say something about it. Yes, call on the phone. We continue to keep you people together because it is not easy to fight for our freedom. You people are I get in the studio. I can see the end work. You people are contributing to what's going on. My name is Martin Dubois. They're calling from Aba, but I hear from now on at Thursday. Now I want to tell you to be a friend. If you are, if I, I can see that you are, majority of you are there already. The way I'm seeing you people, majority of you are there already because see, see, you people forsake the Elohim of our fathers and want to worship idols that is supplied by Britain because the uh, magical way you are in the church when you are in the church you are idol worshipper I'm angry because what, uh, what is uh, the worm that is not qualified to eat us up is eating us up mm. the worm that is not qualified
to eat us up is eating us up. I was a fool and Yoruba, Britain cannot come into our father's land and they chase us out and eat us as much as they want, they kill. My mother, no grandfathers, share he knows it. The best one is river. Chao, the 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 chair in the she called Chao, she called, she never any for you to stay with it in the fit. Where is that she chair in our for an hour? You know, you know, she bar, she bar. Then you speak our for two or that has a Okay, uh, Maggie, Maggie, thank you very much for that. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll have another caller there. Please, when you call, um, do um, try to talk about the, the, the subject matter or the subject we have at hand. What really we are discussing right now. Do not try to get that because we have a lot to talk about. Yes, hello, call on the phone. Yes. What's an area you calling from? Good morning, from you. I have from my house in the Inimo province. It's a calling from you, Water province in Biafra. Okay, go ahead, please. God damn, I bless you. Bless you too. My sister, it's not easy. Our leader have said this all. There is a broadcast our leader make in 2015. He tells the deputy Mazu Chemefo to keep on repeating the record for the people of Biafra for them to listen. That the ISIS is coming and to they are here already. We all know it's those who is not, who is not in IPOB, it's those who don't understand what is going on. But I believe that every member knows what is happening in this Jafra land. If they are, we save us free issue. You see, about the radio station they want to open uh, for the Funani Hensman, that radio has been working already. Because when you go to Oil Mill, in Eleme Junction, in New Water here, you turn your radio, you'll be hearing a language, a red station speaking through at Hausa language. Nothing attached in that station except to Hausa language. It's not working in short wave, you know, before they are using in short wave, just uh, short wave. Uh, 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 it's not that firm. LF. Uh, but now that station is working in FM. Nobody is saying anything. You know, they are just saying, saying this thing so that the people will now know that maybe they want to announce the station of which they have already announced it for their self. It's those who, uh, who is their friends. Those that call themselves their friends and deny what they be. Even though instead of them to kill on radio Jaffa, when you tell them to go and tune radio Jaffa, they say come on down and radio there, come on down and radio there. This is a radio Jaffa. I know what you know, they fight for this thing. Those are the people I am having mercy upon their life. But when you tell a Jaffa man to go and listen to your own radio, this is red, this radio meant for you. You say no. Because I know how many people have entered the echo. Is that how the Yoruba man is, is inside that car? You will be playing through at your own music or until you reach where you are. When a Biafran man enters inside the echo, see you follow Biafran man playing a uh, 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 Biafran radio, you're telling him to tune it off. Which kind of radio is this? Which kind of radio is this? But, but uh, those who are confused with that in confusion, no, because they, I don't think Chukwu Kama will allow them to be alive and see what is this is happening. And when Biafran will restore, they will turn up and, and be claiming Biafran. I, 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 I'm trying to quote to go to Kagema, to what, what every man, woman, who knows that he's a girlfriend, but is not understanding what is happening, he also contributing about evil in this Jaffa land. To go to Kagema will not keep them alive for, but to go to Kagema bless our leader and you our deputy and the judge. You you Thank you very much. We have a call on WhatsApp. Hello, call on WhatsApp. Hello, uh, uh, what you are going to do with any confusion of God, I don't think. Hello. Hello. Okay, we lost that call. Um, Mazi Elvis, please can, can can you come in? Um, uh, say something about what the other caller, one of our brothers, said. We should shut down the bridgehead. Sorry, every other call we have to hold on for now. Let's, uh, you know, let's react to that particular uh, statement. Uh, Mazi Elvis, what do you have to say? Do you think uh, we coming to protest again, like when our leader was um, 
uh, was in Kuji prison is going to make any difference protesting and of course shutting down the bridge head someone suggested that that it will make the Nigerian government not to shut down the Enugu airport um my sister there is this very uh, slogan that is going on right now, viral, trending, and uh, uh, people said, uh, Nadem. Um, you, I expected you that very time to ask him, is he part of the, is he part of parcel of IPOB member? Does he belong to IPOB family members? Um, calling on the people to come out to Loghead Bridge is a very good uh, idea, but he himself, will he be available onto the very place? So he has just made his own opinion. Every opinion counts. You know, he has just said it. But um, that uh, is uh, is not a good idea for IPOB now. Uh, although, uh, if the, the the leadership of the IPOB said so, so for for now, um, it's not a it's not part and parcel of uh, the ideas of the IPOB because um, we have passed that very stage. We have used it before to pass message and um, the international communities and those that we expected to hear it have heard it and they've jotted it down. So I don't think repeating it right now will make more impact, but it's a good idea. But um, let's watch even the, the leadership of the IPB are hearing. But um, all I'm saying is that, is that uh, it's, it's not a good idea for now uh, for us to go to the Nigerian Head Bridge to uh, gather again to block the bridge and. Uh, you are blocking your own bridge. Uh, you know, people that are commuters that are using the bridge right now are your brothers. And um, the airport in question are the governors. They are the people that uh, uh, kind of um, implemented the way they, 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 they uh, 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 prescribed by POB as a terrorist. That is how they are closing down the businesses just to, to, to deal with IPOB. But they are dealing with themselves. So this is what I have to say over this very uh, issue. I don't remember saying that we should thank block you. River Niger. Thank you very much. Bridge. So, uh, yeah. in conclusion, so it's you. not um, you know it's not an IPB agenda for now, and we wish not to go into that again. At least for now, we have a better way to uh, you know to make our um, opinion known. And of course, it's hitting them so hard. Hello, Kala on WhatsApp. Hello, are you talking to me? Yes, come on, what's up? I'm talking yes. to you. Can you tune down the volume of your listening? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Wada. Good morning. Good morning from here. Good afternoon. Good evening, dear friends. I'm calling from Wada. My name is Chukwemeka. Okay. I want to tell the dear friends something. The idea of your flyer is not here to entertain anybody. We are here to give information to our people. So when you think that we are here to play Nigerian music, check, look, do this, do that, no. This is a revolutionary radio. And as you can see, this radio Biafra is the live boy of their fans. If England the country not have the vision to open this radio Biafra, by now we are gone. Talking about closing down any airport, I want to remind their fans. That in 1990, the Bangladesh built an international airport, just two hours to Abuja International Airport. They had KB International Airport, Kasina International Airport, Kano International Airport, Kaduna International Airport, Sokoto International Airport, the Kantamu, Yudugiri International Airport, Yola International Airport. Now, the only semi airport we international airport we have because Enugu is not fully functional. It is semi. I call it semi because you have to connect Abuja or Lagos before the fly out. They are now closing it down. I want to remind us that this is exactly what happened in the 60s. It is repeating itself. Somebody said history repeats itself because men refuse to learn from history. I don't know why our elites should be there removing the little ones we have, we have got from Nina and Bikano. Because when you go to them thinking that they will, they will improve on what you have learned, they will remove it from you. How can Southeast Governor's Forum be there watching, hoping, and they close down our airport? Then you must state, you know, airport, they say that is the cargo international. How many cargoes are landing there? Then at the, at the tail end of uh, Colossus uh, uh, regime, they tell that, that the airport has gone down. 
who wants it down? I want to tell uh, Nigerians and their friends, this Imo International Airport, according to them, is the first indigenous airport built by the indigenous. I remember then, I was in primary school. My, three, my, my uncle, Siti Kobo, is there. They made it of Siti Kobo. You know, airport at the front. Then, Asaba Airport is not working because they know Asaba Airport will we, we serve Igbo uh, traders from Anisha. Now, they are not floating radio for food day by the federal government. Why not radio TV, radio Ito, radio Anon, radio Efik, radio Igbo? Now, they are giving Prime Minister's name 100 billion. And Garabai Shelly said that. Uh, uh, Mieti Allah is the same thing like Afeni Fere and Ahene Zendibo. Then I said, if they are the same, why can't they give Ahene Zendibo their own hundred billion? They are looking, thinking uh, they want uh, Nani Khan to fight every battle for them. Then, I don't know now, Nani Khan don't finish his work. Oh. He don't do what you don't call him to do. If he, if, if he think that he come to die, no. I don't believe that he's going to leave and see the other. So people that are yapping that the American should come down, come home, the one that he came, what did you do? 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 He cannot die. Now that it is you that you should know the candidate that will die. It's as simple as that. Now I'm talking, I'm talking about uh, 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 the building that they are guns. What about your PC? Or Black People's Congress? Can they return their gun? If what the PC and the military are cannot return their gun, why must they come here? I'm talking of the day that have guns. Take another call. Hello, call on the phone. Hello. Uh, good morning, Madam Gozi. Thank you. Good morning. Can you please pick up? What's the name? Where are you calling from? My name is Onye. I'm calling from Aba. Okay. Go ahead. I want to thank you people this morning and also the only damas in Nandita. Concerning uh, closing down the airport in Enugu, the national airport in Enugu, you know, uh, there's a, uh, 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 what that our, our leader used to say when he, 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 he was, he said that, uh, that can our, you please that speak up, uh, Mazi, we cannot say, hear you. you people. Hello, can you hear me? Speak up a bit. Speak up. Hello. Okay. I'll just say. Good. We we'll tell you people that the people are listening. Right? This is what I'm telling you. Our uh, hands and feet go right now. Uh, closing down the airport will affect them too, and it will affect the uh, everybody that can uh, you concern me. Likewise, the people are you So, hello. 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 Can you hear me? We can hear you, but then um, it's not very clear. Uh, please do call us back. Do call us back. Let's take another call. Then you can see the problem yeah. is. Hello, call on the phone. I'm going to Chukukai. Thank you so very much for what you are doing for us. Thank now, you so much for being here as of well. You, as in Amore, our leader. Oh, Chukukai Dama knows the reason why. He brought Man Amore Khan right now. Because if it happened that Man Amore Khan did not come right now, I will witness what in Kaduna was at the time when there is a riot in Kaduna. I'm speaking right now from Aba, based on how I'm feeling. Whenever I'm sick, I can, my my eyes cannot behold evil. My my eyes cannot behold evil. But today I'm seeing evil. I'm seeing evil, hearing evil, and witnessing evil. For the sake that our people did not do. Oh, our people are so much sleeping, and. Uh, the only thing our enemies use against our people is church. Church is the worst material our enemies use against our people. Church has made our people to become overcold. And uh, when you are overcold, so-called man of God will, be, will capture your daughter or capture your boy, make him alone to be going to steal for him, buy God and give to them to be using to love people. Many of all those things that is happening in the society. I'm telling you honestly, my people, I don't know when you people are going to wake up. Let us defend our life, let's kill ourselves, defend our land, and they do the necessary things for their part to come. By the grace of Chukwokika Diyama, 
it is in the hand desire of our leaders in Joe Hindiama. Our leader could not, was, we never attempt to escape from the hand of our enemies. But it's the dream of the Creator. Chukwu Kikadi Ama just separated Mazin and Modekano and take him out of their reach. Out of their reach, I said out of their reach. What they planned against our leader and the us by now, we could have been wiped away. If, not, if it is not that the Mazin and Modekano, Chukwu Kikadi Ama used his hand to take him and want him to, to complete his work. But until now, so-called men of God are inclusive in the evil that is eating us up by standing with the uh, Nigerian government to work against the freedom of the Afro land. Um, but, uh, but this time, because I'm going to evoke all the work, more money than on the Afro land. We stand against them. More money in the Afro land, we go against them. If they did not stop committing all these atrocities that are committed in society, in Aba, in Ebu, so called Umbaka, John Nelson and Jotia, I'm telling you, those evil doers, those, they are the men, the men evil doers. Even the kidnapper is not evil, evil doers to compare. The time of soul. Arise, we have the mature day that is lost of color. The mature day that is hitting us up. The mature that is that is hitting us up today is caused by church. The mature day. If not, during the area, we are not used to die like cowards. But we are right, like cowards. Thank you very much. Thank you very because much. Please, the people we, we, we than, want to do, we need to start doing it now. If you are invoking the powers that be in the Afro land, go ahead if you are buying your gun go ahead whatever you want to do please let us do it uh, you know there's a saying uh, i think make uh hey why the sun shines whatever be it please start doing it now okay we'll have a color on skype hello color on skype uh, good morning madam Gusita. thank you very much uh, greeting from, greeting from Moscow. thank you um thank you for being there for us and uh, also, I thank all the great uh, Anya Biafra that are uh, with you there in the studio. You guys are doing wonderful work, and I pray that Chukwu Kebana will bless all of you and give you more grace bless to continue. Okay. My name is Raf Rodele uh, Indiko. I came from Waka in Olo Biafra land. But I served in the people of Biafra here in Russia as the national coordinator. Uh, this morning, uh, my contribution is. Uh, concerning the, the closure of uh, the only functioning airport, uh, airport in Biafran land. Uh, actually, I heard what many of our uh, um, IPB members have said since, since the beginning of this program. Uh, but my question is, uh, where is the Ohanese people that are, uh, that are claiming that they are there for us? Where, where, where is uh, all the Igbo politicians? All the southeastern uh, people that has, that say that they represent us in the House of Assembly, where they are, where are they? Where have all of them gone? Mood? None of them is speaking. So, uh, if you read the road, you will see that this is uh, a, a conspiracy with all the Igbo governors and the and all the people that claim that they are representing us. And uh, this is a, very, a clear evidence to show all that we should only depend on ourselves. If all of us can change the situation on the ground, we we'll come to um, say uh, that we hope on our people, the, the governors, or maybe the House of uh, Senate and uh, other people, or, or, politician, or politician criminals that have sold their mind and their heart to House of Fulham, there no help can come from them. Because in any reasonable country, this type of issue, the people that will handle the issue, the people that will raise alarm, the people that will get it are the people that are, the, that are called the self-representatives. So, uh, some fools that are still accusing our great leader, Mazin and Khan, and also IPOB. Now, it's clear, the thing is becoming clearer and clearer every day to show them that only Biafra can serve. And this is time for every person, all that in terms to join hand with IPOB. So that we can be able to liberate ourselves from this uh, full of terrorist government. Uh, I know that I don't have much more time. I say, much quicker, bless our great leader and uh, our deputy leader and all the members of IPU Global Family. But quicker, will bless all of us, especially as we are uh, now gearing up for our hero day that is coming in, in, in less than one week. 
So I pray that it's greater than we bless all of us as we meet that day. Thank you. We'll have a couple Thank you. I'm sending Hello. Hello. Good morning from here. Welcome to the program. Good morning. Hello. Yeah, good morning. Go ahead, please. What's the name? Where are you calling from? Good morning. Good morning. Can you hear me? Please go ahead. Hello? All right, you are not listening. You are listening to your device. We good morning. Hello, Good morning. What are you doing? Good morning, watching, okay? This is Prophet Vincent Wadike calling from Abakaliki Province of Biafra Land. I thank you, dear friends, our great leader, Mazin Amadekano, deputized by Mazi Uche Mefo. Um, all here, Biafra. Biafra will help uh, The federal government of Nigeria is really afraid of the government. That is why the security forces with the Nigerian military will go after the, the Biafra, the non-armed uh, civilians and arrest them out of cowardice. Sit Biafra, sit at home on May 30th and get Biafra restored. Biafra squall down and escape this very dungeon. Escape from this very uh, wicked government of Nigeria. We are no more interested to be in Nigeria. We are here to restore Biafra. And may that yet remain sacrosanct. Let us defile all the threats from the Nigerian police, the Nigerian army, all their threats. We are going to sit down at home on May 30th and the gate of our Biafra. <laughs> this is all my contribution this very morning. I want to thank you and remain blessed in the morning. Thank you. Thank you. We have another call out there on the phone. Hello. Hello. Yeah, good morning. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Good morning. Thank you. We can hear you. Please go ahead. What's your name? Good morning. All right, we have another caller there. Well, he's not listening. Please do call back. Hello, we'll call on the phone. Call on the phone. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Uh, talk to My name is can you please speak up? We can't hear you. So what I'm trying to say is, you know, as Nigerian government closes down the Enugu International Airport, even that is the amazing thing for other people. Sorry, you have to call back. I think there is a problem with your device or whatever. Oh, you, when you call back, try to speak into the microphone. We cannot hear you. We we'll have another call out there. Hello. Call on WhatsApp. Hello. 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 Yeah, good morning. I from think it's Dixon. Uh, it's Dixon. I'm calling from France. Uh, I want to wait on the closure of the international airport in Ugu. But it, it would be a very bad decision for us to go to block an uh, understand uh, air bridge. It would be suicidal for every indigenous people of Biafra because Nigerian government are looking for a way to exterminate us. So the only thing I'm suggesting for us to do is for our leaders to protest in all of our land with another name that we did know of IPOB. If they do it, they will have the right to kill every one of us. The last time we protested the uh, Rivanelka Bridge, by then they will we not as best. But now, since they have given up terrorists, they will use the opportunity to do whatever they want to do. So that is what I want to address today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. 
Okay, please call and let's know your contribution. What do you have to say about it? We have another caller there. Hello. Call on the phone. Hello. Hello, call on the phone. Can you hear me? All right, we have another caller there. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning, Madam Bosby. Good morning, Madam Victor. Good morning, Steven. Mazi, Vito, and the one that was in Mexico, Kitabia, my brother. I remember, yes, I remember my friends, I got them calling you from the first year, so you want, you got your warriors on that end, you know what I'm from. I thank you, I greet you people for your good work, Lord, and I was playing with Mazi and the Kano. And you just put him as a Timoko, and our African Mazi is there doing it. And our head of the representative said, "The Mazi chief is doing it." And the man that is in our head of the Mazi, the Mazi Barista, he finds the job. Can you please go ahead uh, with your contribution, please, and our discussion? We are thanking you, people, and we are seeing what you are doing. Uh, they are doing nothing. They cannot do anything. What the police are saying concerning us on that type of men, the most other type of men. Jesus, remember, our people, they will shut down every place, the marketplace, we are asking market readers, the government workers, to speak at the house, your home. Pray our foreign hero and heroine, who say the ultimate price for us to be. We must order, we must observe the effect of no. Nothing will stop us. You cannot stop us. We Thank you very much. We'll have a call on Skype. Because, because of our time, we'll have to go ahead. Hello, call on Skype. Hello, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the program. Uh, my name is Anna Chuku. I'm calling from Romania. I'm from Haji Ebema of the Total You're welcome. I thank you too for your uh, I thank you too for your good work. I thank all the whole ICU family. Yeah. I thank Mazin and the Kalo for their good work. For things that is happening in our land now, for we have been saying it, our leader has been saying it for long. There is no anything that is new or whatever. Our leader has been warning everybody, has been telling whether you are Nigeria or Arua or whatever. Nigeria has been telling all our guests that they should be ready. That things will be coming. That is, we really should see what is going to be happening. But now, we don't need to talk more. The only thing is, how more our Bessa people, that are who have still, don't do anything, who have still sabotage to the, our struggle, how are they prepared for this rain that is going to fall? Because Miri Rola, the rain, the rain has already gathered. So those are our governors that keep quiet. Our airports, they have shut it down with their own concern. They know that they don't want to do anything up to now. What are they waiting for? Or they think that if this should come, or this one and may come, that is only IPOB. They will come. They will come after everybody. But they are in support of all this evil. I wonder, but they are saying that the history are repeating himself for our people. I want to use this opportunity about the submitting of God. How can you submit God? Are you a fool? I'm personally a man. How many times they have, they, they arrest them, all the soldiers, take their gun, upon all the killing they are killing. How can our people submit their gun? If you don't have, you need to go and buy your own. You need to be prepared. You don't need anybody to tell you or our leader to say, go and buy gun. Are you a fool? 
for my people at Obitri, for how many years now? I have not heard from them in this little brother. I have not even heard one of them that say they have joined IPOB. I don't know. Are they still waiting? Maybe for God from heaven to come and tell them all these things that is happening. In the times of good luck, Jonathan, no, no, Chuchi, is when this husband come to my place, they kill many people. But because of how our youth react, and then because of good luck, Jonathan is on the seat. But now it's Jari, their brother. They need to be ready. They need to prepare. We are not allowed to be summarized because of our because we take more calls before we have Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank we you must so continue. Much. Thank you. All right, we'll have another call out there on the phone. Hello. Hello, call on the phone. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Good morning from here. Hello, what's up? Hello. Hello, hello, what's up? Good morning, can you hear me? All right, well, that's the call. We have a call on the phone. Hello. Yeah, good morning. Good Thank morning. you very much. What's your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, my name is Moken Dodrem. I'm calling from Igwasha here. Okay, go ahead. Please. I want to thank all of you for your hard work, for your good work. Uh, my name is Moken Dodrem. I'm calling from Igwasha. Igwasha. Go ahead. It seems you're not listening to you. I want to, to, thank, you. You. I want to thank all of you for your witness. We must continue. If they like, let them start shut down um, okay, market day. We must continue. Our leaders are just thank God for my number can. Thank you. All right, thank you. Of course, we must continue. We are not going to rest until Biafra is restored. We have um, ten minutes to go. We have a call on WhatsApp. Hello. Hello, call on WhatsApp, can you hear me? Hello, call on WhatsApp, are you there? All right, well, that's that call. Please do call back. Let's hear from you. We'll have just a few minutes to go and uh, we'll draw the curtain uh, this morning. Still talking about the happenings in Biafra, and this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis. Hello, hello, what's thank up? You, thank you for the good work that you people are doing over the year. We are appreciating you people every day. Thank and you. we are just want to contribute about uh, our people that is, that is ignorant about what they are doing in back then Biafra land. Because so many of them, they don't listen to Radio Biafra. They don't even, they don't even understand what we are doing. They don't even uh, Enter to WhatsApp or uh, to this thing. I'm been listening to uh, Radio Biafra. I have problem with so many people over here in Kotoro. My name is Intemako Lama Agoha, and I am from uh, Obakala, uh, Obakala Moya Province. My people are not doing good, but I just want to thank you people for the good work you people are doing. Thank you very much, and God bless every one of you. Bless you too. Thank you so much. Of course, uh, we'll have a call on the phone, and uh, after that, we'll be taking just one more call before we go. Hello. Hello, call on the phone. Good morning from here. I don't know why this place market talk. All right, call on WhatsApp. Hello. We lost that call, and of course, uh, we will be drawing the curtain here for today. Uh, before we go, Mazi, what do you have to say, Mazanido? What do you have to say to our people out there, especially those who you know concern me? Okay, so we'll have to take this call, and you're going to be the last caller for today. Call on WhatsApp. Hello? Hello? Hello, call on WhatsApp. Are you there? Yes, uh, my sister, good morning. 
Thank you. Good morning. What's your name and where are you calling from? And the man is here on YouTube and the Aziz. Good morning, everybody. And good morning, dear fans. Good evening. Good afternoon. 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 I want to contribute regarding our people arrested in Enugu today who are going for their protest. I want to urge the family, they have to relax their mind, go their normal business. I feel the authority and the lawyers, they will do the needful to bring your family back home and shortly they will come back home. Don't think, don't complain, don't do your normal business. We have done this many times. We've done it in our way. We bring our people out. We cannot abandon them there. Maybe God knows the reason it is like this, but we are not regretting on that. We will do the needful. We want to tell you on this opportunity. You relax your mind, go your normal business. And at the same time, regarding the um, airport, uh, um, they want to shut down, depend on their business. If we want to do another protest, we are going to do it regarding the airport in Biafalan. We don't have any international airport. That one day is an uh, international law or whatever, I don't know. Even though we can do it with all the whole seaport. So uh, let us wait for the governors and uh, uh, let us see what they, they will do before we back on any protest regarding the airport and the international and the seaports. And uh, guys, uh, on our 30th May, everybody have to start home on 30th because that is the only way for you to give those who fire that we are alive today. Just shut down your shop, last on 30th May. After 30th May, all the whole blessing will come upon you, your family, anything you are lacking, you must stand because we are going to respect those who suffer and die for we may live in that, in that place we are living now. That is all I want to say. My sister, thank you. I stay well for doing you, the I'm great job. Thank you. Well. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, Mazen, you do what message do you have for the you no know, concern me, dear friends? Okay, um, thank you very much, uh, my sister. And uh, the message is very, very simple. Um, it not concern you today; it will concern you tomorrow. You know, a lot of people they have been so relaxed, just like uh, what happened during the war. A lot of people from the Middle Belt area they contributed and the pens we are suffering. But today it is coming over to them. So whatever you saw today, you are definitely going to repeat tomorrow, whether good or bad. So um, whether it not concern you, one day it will concern you. And to the dear friends and all of us of freedom, the IP members all over the world those of you in diaspora please do the best thing you can do to call your people back home all of you have families back home call your communities call the leaders back home tell them that this very uh, sit at home is a sit at home that will launch us into something meaningful in our lives for a lifetime call them and do the name and those of you in their land i ask you and i will urge you to keep on keeping keeping on doing the, uh, the good work you are doing by going to evangelism and all of that so those people who are discouraging you telling you a sort of things that is not concern them it will soon concern them because this soon is coming and i want to tell you that we have nothing to lose we have experienced all manner of things before both killings and destruction everything happened to us before so nothing will be new to us now so this one that is coming is going to beat everybody, but don't allow it to beat you. It will only beat those who say you know concern them. Thank you very much, Wanda. All right, thank you so much. And uh, Mazi Elvis, what message do you have for our audience, the viewers, before we go? Uh, right now, that's the exactly what I'm going to give out. Um, number one is to um, uh, tell our people to uh, be more courageous that uh, despite the previous time we are in right now, the storm shall soon be over and we will cross over to the other side, which is the Biafra land. Despite all the subjugations, despite all the guns they are carrying, you, I just want to remind you all that during the war of, uh, during the war of aggression, I mean the genocide, that was how it started. And uh, those of the guns they came to invade their foreland was used against them. So let them keep coming with the guns and ammunition. We don't have. They have the money, they have the gun. But when it starts, those of those guns and this thing will be used against them. Then, and another thing again is that our 30th of May remains only by our six days. Spread the gospel and uh, respect and honor those of our heroes and heroines. And uh, therefore, will now be restored. Finally, um, some of us, when they call our studios, please try to off your off your devices uh, devices 
And again, a brother called and said he want to do this, he want to do that. Please, we don't, uh, we don't appreciate that here. Whatever thing you want to do, go and do it. It is easy to start doing things than to come up and start telling us what you could do at the end of it or you don't do anything. We don't need all those things anymore in our studio here. Please, go ahead. If you want to bring down Amadio or whatever thing you want to do, bring it down and chase these people away. That is what we are saying about. That's what, that's what we, are, we are talking about. Don't tell us how dangerous you are. We want the dangerousness, we want the, the, the weapon race to be used against our enemies. And we will give you a call it. So thank you very much until we meet again tomorrow. My name still remains Alvis. I'm with you. I sign up from here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Our viewers out there, we appreciate you for joining us today. From our crew members here in the studio, we'll say to you, do have a nice, wonderful day or night ahead of you, depending on your time zone. We will be signing up from here. I remain Ngozichukuka. Stay tuned as more wonderful programs will be coming your way. Bye for now.